Hello everyone, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. And today what I wanna talk about is uh, one of my favorite thrash bands and um, an album of theirs that kind of uh, flew under the radar for some fans. Um, and the album is, well, first of all, the band is Overkill. And the band, and the album is called I Hear Black. And here it is right here, the front cover. And here's the back cover. Now this album came out in March of 1993, but this happens to be a 2017 European pressing. I'll just show you what the vinyl looks like. Uh, it's a uh, really cool cover. Um, love the feel of it. And uh, it comes with a lyric sheet. Black on one side, white on the other. And a uh, nice inner sleeve. And the vinyl is traditional black. Okay. So I knew I had to get this on vinyl when I got my turntable. I have it on CD as well. Um, but yeah, definitely have to get it on vinyl. Um, so let me talk about this album a little bit here. First of all, if we look at the facts of this album, it came out in 1993, okay? Now, we all know what was happening in the early 90s. Grunge was taking over. And uh, to be a band like Testament or Overkill or even Metallica was kind of not in vogue at that time. Um, and if we look at the history of metal around that time. You had Metallica who came out with a Black album in 1991. And, and right after that, everything changed for those metal bands. And I think a lot of those man, metal bands were trying to chase the success that Metallica had with the Black album. And some bands were able to do it with success. Other bands were not. Um, plus you had grunge coming in and um, flannel, <laughs> and uh, you know, you started to see metal bands. I, I remember seeing pictures of Megadeth uh, wearing flannel shirts. Um, you know, bands like Megadeth and, and uh, Metallica obviously started to change their sound with the times too. And uh, you know, uh, looking back and listening to it now, I can kind of appreciate what a lot of those metal bands were trying to do and uh, it worked for a lot of bands. And for me, I feel that it worked for Overkill on this album. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about this. Like I said, this was their uh, album that came out in 1993. It was their sixth album overall. It followed the uh, thrash classic Horoscope, which came out in 1991. This album was produced by Alex Perialis, um, who produced... I looked him up. He produced a whole bunch of metal bands from like Raven to Testament to, uh, you know, crossover bands like MOD. So you got the two, uh, you know, stalwarts of the band, Blitz on vocals and DD Verdi on bass. And um, I really feel that Overkill definitely was trying to you know, grab hold on to that sound of grunge and what the Black Album did for Metallica and sort of put it through the overkill funnel. And um, I really like what they did and I still like listening to it today. Um, I feel like it's aged well. So the songs, um, you've got the opener, which is called Dreaming in Colombian. And it's a, it's a mid-tempo, it's a heavy song. Um, I feel on this album, Blitz is singing more. And you can, you can hear it on track one. I mean, he always sang, but it was more of like a scream sing. I feel like he toned it down a little bit on this album and he started to sing, a, uh, you know, even a little bit more. Um, track two, um, a track that I really like on this album called I Hear Black. It's slow. It's got a Sabbath groove. Um, I want you to listen to that song because I'm telling you right now, it sounds exactly like the song Zero the Hero off of Born Again by Sabbath. 
Um, and I went back tonight and I actually listened to Zero the Hero and I listened to the song I Hear Black. Oh, the similarities are like uncanny. So um, if you have time, listen to Zero the Hero and the song I Hear Black and you'll hear the similarities there. Uh, track three is called World of Hurt. It's another one similar to Dreamy and Colombian. It's uh, mid-tempo, it's heavy. Uh, it's a really good tune. Track four, Feed My Head. Um, I, get a, I get a Metallica sad but true vibe on that song. Um, also, I hear a little bit of the Harvester of Sorrow riff in that. Um, again, this is one of those songs that Blitz is doing some more singing on. And, you know, I, I compare it to Metallica because... A lot of these bands were trying to follow what Metallica was doing. And I think they were getting a lot of pressure from the record companies as well, saying, listen, you guys need to make a black album. You guys need to be like Metallica. Hey, listen to what Metallica is doing. Listen to the drum sound of Metallica. Listen to what James is doing with his vocals. Listen to the song structure that Metallica does. So I think these bands were kind of almost forced to sound like Metallica. Um, so Feed My Head is definitely like a Metallica sounding song, but Overkill's version. It's good. I like it. Uh, track five. I have a star next to this song. I like this song. It's called Shades of Grey. This song, more than any other song on the album, kind of really, it dates the album. Because if you listen to it, it sound, it's got definitely a grunge influence to it. It sounds like it could have been by Stone Temple Pilots or Alice in Chains or one of those bands. It's definitely got a grunge influence, but it's a really cool song, Shades of Grey. Track six, Spiritual Void. Now we're back into that Sabbathy, uh, slow, crunchy groove. Really good song. Uh, Overkill did that on past albums as well. They're really good at channeling that Sabbath sound. Um, Track seven is a short instrumental called Ghost Dance. Just some uh, interesting guitar work, guitar rhythms. Track eight. Now, this is the first time that we get a little bit of that traditional overkill sound. It's a, it's a more of a fast thrash song. It's called Weight of the World. Really, really like that song. But again, it took us eight tracks to get to more of like an up-tempo, fast type song. It kind of goes to show you that that sound, that speed was sort of out of fashion at the time. But it was nice that Overkill still put that into the album. Uh, track nine is called Ignorance and Innocence. Again, another mid-tempo song. Heavy, you know, uh, great guitar work, great vocals by Blitz. Another good song. Um, number 10 is another song I have a star next to. It's called Undying. Really like this song. The chorus is really cool. The background vocals are really cool on that song. Um, I was listening to it again tonight. The tempo, they've got some cool tempo changes in the song and uh, great solo work. I want to see who the guitar player was at the time. And again, you'll have to forgive me. Um, actually, two guitarists, Merrick Gant and uh, Rob Canavino on guitars. So they're doing some great guitar work on the song Undying. And the album ends with uh, a song called Just Like You, which is another thrash fast song. And it's a great ending to this album. So again, Overkill, I Hear Black. Not an album that many people talk about when they talk about Overkill. You know, you're going to hear um, the albums taking over or horoscope or under the influence you know those classic thrash albums which are awesome albums um but i really feel like i hear black needs to be in that discussion as well this is a great album 1993 definitely got a grunge influence definitely channeling that black album sound um i can't help but think the title i hear black is is a reference to the black album that's gotta be um uh, even the, the, the band photo on the back, it's just definitely got that early 90s vibe to it. But it's a great album. If you've never heard it, I would definitely give it a spin, listen to it. Um, if you have heard it, but just kind of put it away for a while, bring it back out again. I think you're going to like it. It's, it's, it's aged well. Um, as far as Overkill goes, uh, two other later albums that I like by them that you should check out. 
One is called From the Underground and Below. That came out in 1997. That is a kick-ass album. Love that album. And um, one of their recent releases, The Grinding Wheel from 2017, is a really, really good album. So, yeah, definitely Overkill, one of my favorite thrash bands. I Hear Black, uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, albums by them. It happens to be the only vinyl album I have by them, but I definitely wanted to make sure that this was the first one I got because I really like it. Um, I've got all their other CDs, so again, as I've said in past videos, I might have to do, um, you know, a CD review of, of uh, you know, the Overkill discography. But listen, listen, definitely check this out, and uh, I will be back hopefully tomorrow with uh, a new video. So subscribe, like below, share the video, tell me your thoughts on Overkill, tell me your thoughts on the album I Hear Black. Um, I'm interested to know. All right, thanks.